In general, I would use a noise reduction filter for my videos to try and get rid of some of the fan noises from my lights, but I think it's a good practice to try and get a clean audio in camera whenever possible. So in today's video, I thought I'd run some tests to see if I can eliminate some of the background noises with my DIY acoustic box and see how it will affect the Rode VideoMic Pro's overall sound. I have previously made a video on how to build one yourself and done a comparison with my Blue Yeti microphone, but I'm more curious to see how it will sound with a shotgun mic instead. So let's get straight into it. First, I'll do a somewhat controlled, aka not very scientific noise test to see how much sound we can block out. Obviously this test is exaggerated, but there's definitely a reduction in noise being picked up by the microphone, especially to the side and around the back. But more importantly, how does it affect my voice? When I listen to it on my phone, I can't really tell the difference. So I recommend you listen with some good headphones or speakers, then you should be able to hear the difference. Just a quick disclaimer, I did increase the gain by 7 dB in post, uh, but that's it, nothing else. The M3 CRT introduced in 2011 was another sellout before it reached the showrooms, and was announced immediately before the Nürburgring 24 hours event that took place. The M3 CRT introduced in 2011 was another sellout before it reached the showrooms, and was announced immediately before the Nürburgring 24 hours event that took place. When the microphone was inside the box, it definitely sounded more muffled and clearer without the box. Strangely though, it also sounded a little bit louder when it was inside the box, even though I was uh, in a very similar position between me and the mic, and was announced immediately before the Nürburgring 24 hours event that took place, and was announced immediately before the Nürburgring 24 hours event that took place. If we take a look at the EQ, we can see that there is a bump in the lower frequency around 100 to 500 hertz, which is exactly what we can hear from the audio clips earlier. Ideally, you probably want to treat the room itself if possible with acoustic foam on the walls or blankets around where you are recording. Uh, but sometimes this might not be possible or you have external noises that can't be switched off. Like in my case, these lights have fans in them. I can't turn them off, obviously, while I'm filming. Also, just to state the obvious, different voices, rooms, and microphones will have a different outcome when compared to my test, so just bear that in mind. So in conclusion, I think I like the one without the box, even though it did help to eliminate the background noises, but I think it affects the lower end too much for my personal liking. Also, it's not very practical to have a box in front of my face when I'm filming these videos, obviously, so I think this might be more suited for like voiceovers instead. Sound is incredibly subjective, so I'll let you decide which one you think sounds better or worse uh, in the comments down below. I'm genuinely curious to see what you think or which one you prefer. Okay, that's it for today's random little experiment. Thank you very much for watching as always. My name is Joe and I'll see you in the next one.